Okay, we're looking at perimeter and area of compound shapes. Now, compound shapes are essentially lots of different shapes that you know and recognise, all stuck together to make another shape. All right, so in this first case here, we've got a couple of rectangles, basically. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing this. I actually would um, work out all the missing sides, first of all. So, here we go. This one's got to be four centimetres because this one and this one here... Oops, have got to add up to the same as that, haven't they? So there you go. So uh, that one's four. I'll just rub out those lines. Don't need them, do I? And along same lines, this has got to be six centimetres. All right, because they've got to add up to the 12, haven't they? Now, that means the perimeter is going to be nice and easy. Perimeter, you're just going to add all of those up. So we've got nine plus 12 plus four plus six plus five plus six, but... Actually, hang on, it's just the same as 9 plus 12 twice. So what have we got there? 21, 42, and it's a length, so 42 centimetres is what it is. Now, if I'm going to look at uh, the area, I think, personally, that you've got a couple of ways. You could split it up, you could split it up there and do 6 times 4 plus 9 times 6. That's absolutely fine, so that would be 54 uh, 6 times 4 is 24, um, 54 plus 24 is 78, that's absolutely fine. Or, you could add this bit on, do 12 times 9, which is 108, and take off the 5 times 6, which is also 78. Either way, you need to show you're working. So I personally do 12 times 9 minus uh, 5 times 6. Now, this is the 5 times 6 bit here. All right, and that equals 78 centimetres squared. It's an area, isn't it? So there you go. Now, let's have a look at the perimeter here. Now, I would, here you've got essentially, if I'm, I'm actually going to draw a line on this because I think it will make a difference. So this is 8 and this is obviously 8. The whole lot's 12. That bit's 4 up there. Okay, so there we go. Now, that means you've got a quarter of a circle, doesn't it? Um, so you add on your straight bits. You've got your 4 plus 8 plus 4. Okay, plus... Now, you know the circumference of a circle is pi d or pi 2 pi r, right? Now, we've got the radius here. So 2 times pi times the radius. But you've got a quarter of a circle. So you've got to divide by 4. Now... I'd stick all of that in your calculator. We've got 8 plus 4 plus 8. That's what, what am I talking about? 4 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 times pi times 8 all divided by 4. Oops, I mistyped that. All divided by 4. There you go. I think that's right. And 28.6, I'm going to round to one decimal place, 6 centimetres. Now it's going to be the similar thing with the area. We've got for the area, we're going to do 4 times 8. Alright, that's, that's this bit here. Alright, plus, now the area of a circle. Um, so you've got cherry pies delicious, which is your circumference. You've got apple pies are too, so we've got pie times the radius squared, but it's divided by 4. So you've got 4 times 8 plus pi times 8 squared divided by 4. And we're going to get 82.3. 82.3. Can I fit that centimetres? Oh, only just. No, not really. But there you go. Now, Compound shapes, essentially, split them up or find the whole thing, take off the bit that's come out or however you do it, just make sure you show you're working. Really, really crucial. Okay, enjoy.